In an unusual event, US natural gas prices in West Texas have been trading in negative territory for more than three weeks, largely due to a lack of pipeline space, forcing some drillers to pay those with spare capacity to take unwanted gas. Spot prices at the main Permian Basin hubs fell to a record low of $4.28 last week. Prices have been negative in the real time or next day markets since March the 22nd. But why has there been so much natural gas supply? Well, the Permian is the nation's largest shale oil field where production now exceeds more than 4 million barrels per day. But oil output also produces what is known as associated gas, seen by crude distillers as a waste product to be burnt off or flared because there's not enough pipeline capacity to remove it. Construction of new oil and gas pipelines in the Poland will not keep up with output, which has more than doubled over the past three years as the United States has risen to become the world's largest oil producer. But while oil can be stored in tanks or transported by truck or train, gas can only be transported by pipe, burned or in special cases, if the equipment is available, re-injected back into the ground. Recently, compressor problems on a pipeline in New Mexico exasperated the problem as it closed off a key artery for gas. If the gas can't therefore be transported or re-injected, how much is being flared? Well, it depends on who you ask. Permian drillers flared a record 400 million cubic feet per day of uh, gas in the third quarter of 2018 and they're expected to increase that to 600 million cubic feet by mid-2019. To put that into context, a billion cubic feet of gas is enough to fuel 5 million homes in the US per day. Is it possible, therefore, for gas drillers just to keep burning for as long as they want? Well, Texas drillers are allowed to burn gas for 45 days under initial flaring permit and get extensions for up to six months. In Texas, Reuters reports there's an observed increased tendency for gas to be flared for anywhere between four to six months after wells are initially drilled. Oil drillers that can no longer flare gas must ship it out or shut down wells. But with crude prices at the highest level in five months, drillers do not want to shut wells. Does this mean that everyone is, who's drilling is paying for gas to be taken off their hands? Well, anyone who ships gas on a pipe must pay the pipeline company for the use of the space. Normally, gas producers or their customers pay this fee, but they can then sell the gas at the end of the line for a profit. Those that are paying negative prices are the drillers, who did not in the past commit to take shipments away. They're therefore driven to the spot market rather than having a long-term shipping deal. And because those pipelines don't have the capacity left, they're paying others who already have it to take the gas off their hands, effectively losing money despite producing the gas. Is this a short-term issue, or does it highlight something more structurally inefficient in the market? We previously discussed the future of natural gas markets on this channel, and a link should be appearing on screen now. But there are several new pipelines in the works to alleviate the constraints. But those projects, and crucially, they'll not enter service until late 2019, or 2020 or 2021. Therefore, it seems logical to conclude that should the current market conditions continue, high oil prices, extensive drilling and so on, that this structural constraint will persist for at least the next six to 12 months.